Welcome everyone to another episode of Smart Tips. It's Avi here, VP of Partners at SmartSuite. This week we're going to talk about how you can create subgroups in your SmartSuite grid view. Not only can you group your data once, you can create subgroups and sub-subgroups and endless subgroups of your data and then have them be collapsed or expanded by default. Let's take a look how. So when you're within SmartSuite and take for example groupings, I'm here within Production Tasks app in the Agency Marketing Showcase. You on, on the top of the grid view, we have this option right next to filter called groupings. And in groupings, you're able to group records. So it, this is not a filter operator that basically illuminates records from your view, but this groups records. So you can obviously have filters, but then within the filtered group, you might want to have grouping. So I'm going to delete the filter over here so that we have more records to play with. And we're gonna go into groupings and we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna delete these groupings and we're gonna add a group and we're gonna say, let's group it by assign to. And you can choose A to Z or Z to A. And what's unique about SmartSuite is that within every particular view, there's endless amount of groupings that you can add to that view. So not only can I have a group by user, but I can have a subgroup. So within user, I wanna now group by let's say client. So now I see all of my tasks grouped. I see now they're broken out in subgroups to by client. And then I see Brian's tasks and then subgroup by client and then Emma's tasks and Nate tasks, Nate's tasks and so on. And these groups are collapsible and expandable. So you can collapse and expand on the um, highest grouping level. So I can expand or collapse all of my tasks, or I can expand and collapse within the subgroup and still leave the other subgroups opened, right? And I can do this with Brian's stuff and so on. Here's another piece to group. And I can add more and more groupings, right? So I can add another, I can add a group by due date and I can change due date to show me last to first. Now you can also reorder. So now I can change and say, let client be the top level grouping and let assign to be the secondary level and I'm going to delete the due date and what you can simply see over here is we're grouping all of the tasks by client first and secondary by assignee. Now here's another piece to groupings. We have this feature called collapse all or expand all. So expand all means even though they're grouped when you come to this view they're all by default expanded and again you can obviously use these over here to expand and collapse if you collapse all that means all of your views will be collapsed by default so this is how the the view or this page will look when you come to this page and then you can obviously expand whatever you're looking for so if you do have a page with tremendous amount of records and you just want to see things by group you can group things by default have them all collapse collapsed by default and and then you just come in here and open okay i want to see this client's records this client's records and so on and so that is how you would use groupings to um control your views to uh fit what you're trying to do in smart suite i hope you enjoyed this week's episode of smart tips and let us know what you'd like us to cover next week in smart tips and looking forward to seeing you on next week's smart tips Thank mm-hmm. you.